about things going people's way because incentives are coming this weekend in NFL. Prize picks incentives. It's time to make some money, my friends. I love making money, and I think a lot of these players also love making money. That that's why we're doing an incentive-based prize pick. So, Sammy, you introduced this topic since uh, you came up with it. Okay, so here's the deal, and I want to do these more often, George. I want to for people that are tuning in live or people listening on the podcast. We'll probably clip this out for like TikTok and different things. We're gonna give you this weekend's best bet on prize picks. Okay, and of course, if you use prize picks, use our promo code SONT S O N T or use uh, the link that's in the description on YouTube and everywhere. It's on the podcast links too. They'll match you up to a hundred bucks. You put in a hundred bucks, they'll give you a free hundred bucks. If you put in 20, they'll give you 20. So use that code to help support us and let's make money with it. Let's do the best of those six pick like 10 times payouts, right? So let's pick six of these guys and let's go through some of them. Um, I saw this tweet by Sal Verdi. It's a daily fantasy dude, right? And he said, uh, there's 13 players in week 18 that have incentives. So let's see who we can bet. And I guess the best way to do this is if you have a pen and paper, George, just write it down so we can recap it at the end or something. All right. I'm going to type it. I I got a typer. (laughs) Typer. And let's just say what you like. I got a computer, a typer. What the hell am I talking about? I got a typing machine. Let's talk about the ones we like and the ones we don't. And some are on defense. You can't really use that for prize picks, I think. But you could use it for betting. But yeah. Patrick when Patrick Mahomes needs 430 yards to set the record. He faces uh he faces the Raiders, who has the 30th secondary. He averages 323 yards a game since 2019, and his prop is at around 290. Do you think he'll he'll hit that or should we? Should we skip that one for now? Let's skip that one for now. But I'm leaning under because I think they're going to be... Actually, he's now... Lot. Sorry, that's changed. He's now at 312 and a half. Ooh, that's a lot. He's not going to get 400, right? No, I, I'm going under there. Okay, so let's not even let's not even mark that as part of our play. Okay. Let's just do these overs, make it fun. Let's see. That's a That one, mark it as under, I guess. You know I, am, I did, I did. I marked it as under, but All it doesn't right. mean we're necessarily using it. This one's for betting. Okay, this one's not for prize picks, but I'll mention it because I also put us, we have that bet us uh, code. I'll put that yep. in the link too if you want to bet. Carl Lawson needs one sack to earn 600,000. He faces the number 31 offensive line in football, the Dolphins. So do you think he'll get a sack? 600,000. Yes. 000? Yeah. Over one sack for Carl Lawson. Yeah. Or one sack, whatever it is. Bet him getting a sack. Okay, here we go. Christian Kirk needs two catches. For a five hundred thousand dollar bonus, and he's ninety one yards to trigger a five hundred thousand dollar bonus. He has a million dollar bonus on the line. Christian Kirk. Now, I'll look up his. Uh, let me look up his like uh, over under. Yeah, yeah, because this is tough. Because they're playing. Ooh, fifty four and a half. I'm taking the over. I don't know if he's gonna get his incentive like all the way, but I'm taking the over on that. I mean, it's a big game. Um, the it's a win in go to the playoffs for the Jaguars. So, okay. That's the first guaranteed one, George. We're taking Christian Kirk over 54 and a half yards. Um, Justin Fields needs 60. He's out. He's out. He, they just called him out for the game. No. Yeah. So sure? he's, yeah. Yeah. He's not playing. That's a killer. He needed 64 yards to set the QB rush record. Yeah. He's not going to be setting. The QB rush record, unfortunately. But let me, I'm just going to confirm that he's out because I saw that earlier today. Um, but yeah, I, I do know that Justin Fields is supposed to be out. Yeah. Uh, Nathan Peterson will start for the Bears in the season finale. Okay. That sucks. Um, Khalif Raymond. Okay, George. Let's do Khalif Raymond. All right. Khalif Raymond. God, I hate he needs this. seven catches. Oh. Okay, he's not going to. They're starting Malik Willis at quarter. Like, is Malik Willis going to complete seven passes? Yeah, no, let's skip that one. This one I like. You ready? Yeah. Gerald Everett needs five catches to have $250,000. He has had five plus catches in 50% of his games played this year. Jeez, it's going to be close. And they face Denver, who allows the third most tight end catches. You know what? Uh, what's his over under on catches on. Uh prize pick i like i do like this one i'm getting there 
I'm having an issue with my prize picks, George. Things aren't loading. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes, you know, whenever you need something to work, it just doesn't work. That's technology these days. Yeah, why, why is this doing it to me? I don't know, man. Um, I wonder if they have like a website like where you can see the prize pick numbers, prize picks numbers. Let's see if they got anything out there. No, it doesn't seem like they do. I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> yeah, you can no, you can sign in online, but um, I forgot my password. You can you couldn't do it on the computer. I just think the props are a little messed up right now. But let's see, like, why can't I get Justin Jefferson? There it is. Okay, let's do Justin Jefferson. He's on. I thought Gerald Ever. You find him? No, no. I thought. Oh, you hadn't found Gerald Ever. No. I don't no. Know. Okay. His, okay. His props down right now. Apparently, okay. Justin Jefferson. This is an interesting one. He needs 194 yards to set the record for most yards in the season. He's not going to do that probably, right? But he produced 154 yards against Chicago earlier this year. His prop is at 90 and a half. He has hit it in three out of the last five games as well. Let's take the over on Justin Jefferson there. I think he's going to finish off the season hot. I do too. Let's take over 90 and a half. You know why else too, George? He had 15 yards, one catch against Green Bay. They had a shit game, and now they're playing the Bears. Kirk Cousins is going to throw for like 500 yards himself. Yeah, but the problem is if they're winning by so much that he comes out early in the game. That's the only issue that could arise here. Okay, but... but I'm still taking the over. <laughs> Do you like my concept? Let's, let's just hope it doesn't then. Okay, why is Zay Jones not on right now? Zay Jones, man, he fucked me over in fantasy, by the way. Yeah, he actually did. But he needs two catches... He's not he, he's not showing up on the thing right now. What are we at, George? Right now we got Patrick Mahomes under yards, Christian Kirk over yards, Justin Jefferson over yards. Okay. Gerald Everett, we don't know what his yards are, so we're look, kind of looking for it. Yeah, he's not on there right now. And Carl Lawson over one sack, but that's just a bet, bet, not a prize pick. So we're trying to build a prize pick here, but we got Mahomes, Kirk, and Jefferson. Which, by the way, I do kind of like that prize pick in general. Yeah, we might have to just stick to that because yeah. I'm having. I feel like they, I feel like they're moving some lines right now because there's not a lot of. Uh, yeah, we, you know what? We're I know when you go live on YouTube and you're putting giving out these easy picks and like guarantees, they move the lines on people all the time. They do, they do. That's probably what's happening. And you know what else is happening? Probably George. It's week 18. There's some people that are going to get benched. They're probably pulling it. Like there's no Bears players on here. It's probably because Justin Fields got called out. They don't know where to set the lines. Week 18 is weird because some teams, like the Lions, for example, some say they want to play spoiler if the Seahawks win, let's say. Some people right. might say they wouldn't want to, and they might fucking rest some people so they don't get hurt, right? So you, it's a really hard time to set lines. Let's just stick to the one we have. I like it. This one, this this segment's going to get a lot better for you people in the future, but we trust promise. Me, yeah, no, no, because like in the future, there's not going to be week, week 18 or NBA. They don't change it like. Right, yeah, you know, that's religious. a problem with it. We just have like, yeah, you're right. Week 18 is kind of a hard time to do it. Yeah, but we're locking in. Can you name them again? What are we locking in on? Yeah, price? yeah. Patrick Mahomes under yards. Christian Kirk. Uh, I didn't write down what was Over. Patrick. Uh, no, I didn't under, write down Patrick Mahomes yards. But under whatever they are, Christian Kirk over 54 and a half and Justin Jefferson over 90 and a half yards. Okay. And the just a, just a FYI, the Mahomes is we're doing under 312. 